let's um, let's open with a word of prayer and and let's uh, get into it. We want to keep to the timetable today so that you're not uh, held up for a long time. I'll just pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your grace and your goodness to us. Thank you that you love us and that you are uh, uh, very concerned, in fact, more concerned about us than we are about ourselves. We thank you, Lord, that you love us and that you are uh, have, have these amazing plans for our lives and want us to be effective in your kingdom. So, Father, we thank you for the Holy Spirit to enable us tonight to give us wisdom and understanding. We pray, Lord God, for each person that's here and anyone who hears the recording, that they'll be, uh, they'll be touched by your spirit and enabled with knowledge and skills to help them in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And the, we're going to go through the requirements today of the certified user. I'm going to share my screen with you and then I will come back to the, your pictures and we can have a little talk after each little session. So let me go to share screen. You're away. Um, first thing I want to uh, say is uh, thank you for joining us and we had a few, quite a few extras on last week when we did the uh, uh, initial requirements of the first training for the certified user and we've edited that video and that video has been put on the network so you can go through the items that are required for the initial award of certified user and you will find that here under groups drop down box to pulpit rock certification and then that's been placed in the members only group so that will open up here now. And we've got these members in the members only group. And this discussion, how to complete the requirements of the Pulpit Rock Training Certified User. I've just clicked on that and there is the video. So you just have to start the video and it runs for 45 minutes and that's the training from last week so if you missed anything you've not completed any of the items you want the video again you can just go over that video so i'll leave that for you to go over and we're moving on today to the next award and the items that are required in it and that is in the certified fellow award. So the requirements of the Certified Fellow Award are here in this group and you can see without being a member you can see this page and information here and an, if you're not a member it stops there. Once you're a member you can see the other content below but anybody can see these requirements so this is what we're going to go through today the requirements to become a certified fellow and the first one is that you have met all the requirements of a certified user which we did last week and i've just shown you where the video is on the members only group second thing is that we uh, need to have at least 50 friends on the network so we did go through last week uh, on the video about how to make friends, how to send um, invitations to people and how to accept them. So let me just show you in my friends box here, I have five requests, people who want to be my friend. So if, when I click that, I can see whether or not I want to accept these people. So these people are asking me for a friendship. I haven't accepted them yet. I've told them to get a picture. Um, but if I want to send friends, then I need to go and find those members that I want to be friends with. So you might want to be friends with uh, people from your country. 
And that's always a good thing to do. So we talked about joining your national group last week. And in on the main page, you can find the national groups or on here, national unity groups under the, um, the groups uh, item in the main menu. And I'll just show you that. So the national unity groups, and there you've got all the countries. So if you wanted to connect with somebody uh, in Nigeria, because you're in Nigeria, Oscar, then you can see all the people that are in the Nigeria group. Here's a bit of information. You can join the group. There's currently 168 members in the Nigeria group. And so you can select any of these people and then just send them a friend request. So for instance, Bayo here, who's the top one at the moment, I've sent him a request, he hasn't answered, but you can just click the button there that says, send a friend request. You can be friends with people. So it's important that you keep asking people to be friends because that's how you're going to make good ministry connections with people. So I'm just going to close a couple of these pages. I'm going to go back to here. <clears throat> this is the members only group. So now we, we know that it's important to make friends. The importance is because you can share your content with friends. So that's, that's really important if you want your content to be read. And most people put content out because they want it to be read. So you don't have a lot of chance of it being read except by a few people unless you share it with your friends. Uh, the other thing is you can't send direct messages to people unless you're friends with them. So you can send a direct message. I'm going to pick somebody here, one in the bottom corner. That's Martin. And I go to Martin's page. He's a certified user already. You see his badge on there. And you can send him a friend request. But I can send him a message. You see how I can send him a message here? And that's, I can write him a direct message. Now you can only do that with people that you're friends with. So <clears throat> you can get really connected with people through that sort of method and that's private it doesn't show up anywhere and the only people that see it are you the person who sent it and the person who received it so that's um, <clears throat> about friends it's about building relationships and relationships open uh open doors to ministry so you know that's important that we um we build those relationships so let me just come back um <clears throat> ask you if you've got any any questions about anything on there would you like to unmute yourself and if you have a question just um just ask me any questions about the friendship situation yes i have a question yes oscar yes i have sent so many friend requests they have just few responses. I really do not know why people don't want to accept my friendship request. <laughs> yeah, well, there's a few reasons. Um, let's let's deal with the worst ones first. They don't like you and they don't want to be friends, okay? <laughs> so, so that's a possibility, but it's probably not a probability. Um, the more likely scenario is that they haven't seen your email. Now, what I've discovered is people only come on when they have a reason to come on and then they find that they've got six or eight or 10 friend requests pending. And I see over time that you'll see somebody comes in and they accept half a dozen friend requests at once. And I know that that's been, they've been sitting there for some time, especially when I'm one of them, you know, and I get connected with somebody along with half a dozen other people. So they've not come on very often. Uh, also, people uh, have changed their emails or don't look at their emails. So you'll get an email for everything that happens on the network, although you can turn them off. But if you turn them off, you won't receive them. 
so some people don't get them because they've either turned the emails off or they've changed their email address. And I think probably every week I would talk to somebody on, on another network, Facebook or LinkedIn or somewhere, where they say to me they can't get on the network because they've changed their email and they don't remember the uh, password for their old email so that they can change, so they can log in. So they don't remember their login for the network. They don't remember their login for their old email. And they've changed their email and they can't get in. So sometimes we let them create a new account if we can't find a way around that. But um, I know that that happens because it happens. I'm dealing with that probably every week. So there are just, there are just reasons why people don't do it, but that's okay. Just uh, if you've reached the maximum number of friend requests sent and it won't send any more, then just simply if, if it's been a few weeks and they've not replied to you, just delete a few of the old ones and add some new ones. Okay, okay. All right, All right. so um, yeah. that's just one way that you can keep that moving. Just delete the old ones. So I'll just go back in and show you how to delete those. Um, okay. So I will go to friends. You seeing my screen now, Oscar? Yes, I'm seeing it. Okay, so my friends, friend requests received and requests sent. Thanks. Now, yeah. I've got 498 people I've sent a request to yeah. and, and they have not replied. Mm. Okay, um, mm. so because I'm the administrator, I've got different, different uh, things that I can do on here. Yours is limited yeah. to a hundred, all right? So you, you get a hundred people that you can send a friend request to. But let me just go to the friend request sent. Okay. I sent myself one there. Um, <clears throat> so these are people that I've sent them to. Let me go to one of the oldest ones. So go to the end of the list. And the end of my list goes back to January of 2019. So it's more than two years ago. So I'm yeah. just going to withdraw that request because he obviously isn't going to see it now unless he comes on. So I can withdraw that one. I can withdraw that one. And you see how they just disappear. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And now I've, now I've got 496. So I've got two more available. Because okay. it was 498 before. So that's uh, friend requests. Anybody else having uh, an issue with sending or receiving friend requests? Raise your hand, write a message, wave at me. Okay, no problem. So we're going to move on to the next item on the list. I think I've got the hang of how to do this now. I'm going to go to the Pulpit Rock certification, certified fellow. and the items that we have to do. So the next one is have authored three blogs with tags. Now last week we talked about how to do a blog. So I'm just going to talk very briefly about that. I created a blog and showed you how to do that last week. This week I'm just going to go on with the tags. So I'm going to go to um, my latest blog. So let me Go to my page and on my page, I will find blog. my photos, my videos, my blogs. So this is the blog that I created on the video last week and I'm going to show you how to tag it and why tagging is so important. So we talked about 
creating it so it's got lots of space, headlines, underlines, pictures. 22 people have seen it, four people have liked it. Now, you can't see, but here there are, there are tags which help people to find this video, this blog, if they're looking for something. So on your blog, you will see this button options. And you can see edit tags, or if you've not created any tags, it says create tags. So I'm going to edit the tags and you'll see I've got a drop down box here and the tags that are in it are creation, right new righteousness. So let me add legal. We're talking about legal aspects. We're talking about the old man. And I've created a couple more tags. Those tags will be useful for somebody to find my blog if they're searching for something in particular. So tags are really, really important to get yourself found in the searches. And we're going to, we're going to do a bit later, we're going to do more on how to use this network for searching. There are literally thousands and thousands of pages on this network. And, and there's lots of good information here from people all over Africa and beyond. And they are uh, good things that you might want to do some research on. There's lots of things that you can do that. We won't do the searches at the moment, but we will move on. We've done the, the blogs, we've done the tags. Now, the item number four was, <clears throat> um, go back a page. <clears throat> Back another page. The item number four was to um, start at a minimum of three forum discussions. So we need to do two things. We need to talk a little bit about um, what's the difference between a forum and a blog, and then how to create it. The creation is very similar to blog, but it is a bit different. The thing that I want to draw your attention to is in technical help. So in the main menu, technical help. Well, this is where the answers to all your questions are. So we're looking for one that is going to help us understand the difference between a forum and a blog. Uh, forums here how to add nice HTML graphics, how to create a forum post with attachments, and what is the difference between a blog and a forum. So that one there will show us, and it's not a very long item, but it's just uh, questions being asked before, where do you find it? Um, basically, we are, we are saying that the the forum is a place for discussion, whereas a blog is more of a place for you to put up your content. People will read it, like it, they might comment, but forum is more designed around getting some discussions happening. So you need to probably ask a question. Maybe you want to be a little bit provocative in a forum. So on the main page where we are now, you'll see down here the forums. And these are the last forums that have been posted. There's one by Oscar. Thank you. Let's have a look at yours, Oscar. See what we can do with this. So, Oscar, you have um, actually, I, I did a little bit to this. I increased your font size and I put some, some spaces in between your paragraphs a bit more. So the double space just to make it a little easier to read. But I didn't want to totally uh, change your, your layout. But here you can have a couple of headlines, you can put things in, and you've got some attachments here. But what are these attachments? You see, you can't see what they are. So if we click one, I see that, oh, you have written a book, The Mystery of the Cross, wonderful. Oh, I might like to buy that. How do I buy that? That's just a picture. 
that I can't I can't get that. Wouldn't that be better if that picture was actually in the body of this text? So you could go into here and you could refer to your book somewhere in the text and put your book in the book section. So you can go here and you can go edit the discussion. And when you edit that, you come back to the format that looks like it was when you were creating it. And so you can add a picture here, which so you'll get, so let's say you want to put it there and you want to put that picture there and you'll choose it from your file and just load it up. Now I haven't got it on my system, so I won't do that. Um, and then you just put a link and say, see more in the books section. And then you'll save, right? I'm just going to cancel so that we don't make any changes. And you can put your book in the books section as well. So you can reference it in your blog or your discussion, but put it in the books section. So there's books, music and training. And you have a book. So let's put your book in the books section. Members, books and recommendations. So you can write a, dis a full discussion about it. So it's the same as the discussions we just looked at with pictures, etc., and a headline, or you can just put it in as a comment. So somebody here has put one in that they recommended and just the link to where to buy it. So this one um, doesn't have a link on where to buy it. Great book, wonderful, how do I get one? I need to know how to get it. Here's one by Howard Sands, now available at Amazon. It's a, and there's a little video about it and you can, get it at the Amazon link and it's an ebook. So it's understanding the whole man. And Gerald, who's from, uh, I think he's stuck in South Africa still, but he was, he lives in Eswatini, um, formerly known as Swaziland. And he's got a couple of books on here. And he's now got the link to his Amazon page where you can buy his book. So that's, that's really important. You can put as much detail in there as you want. And if you want to write quite a bit, then create a discussion and you can make that as big as you like and people can comment and discuss with you. So that's the, that's the book section. And I highly recommend you put the picture of your book in your blog uh, or your discussion rather, and then, uh, create a link to your books page where you've got all the information about your book. All right, so forums, um, I'm going to create a forum for you just to show you how we do that. Under the communicate menu, we've got forums right at the top there. So we're going to go and create a forum and you'll see this says add. So there are a couple of featured ones, and then these are the most recent ones, uh, or the most recently active ones. So let's add a forum. I've prepared this. And so I'll be talking to you a little bit later about this, but I've just copied and pasted the text I had in a, in a uh, notepad, and you'll see it's come in there. I'm going to use this as a headline, copy and paste. I'm going to make this larger and bold. I'm going to put a video in. So I've not entered the video yet, but I've got this information here. Please watch this video. So that's the video. I'm going to actually go to now, show you how to put the video in. So this video is loaded on YouTube 
course, on YouTube, you can do public or private. So I've actually made this public and I only put it in today. So you want to go down here and where it says share, you click embed. And when you click on that text, it highlights it all, press control C and you copy, get rid of that. I'm going to now go to add media and there it says paste the embed code, which is that text from YouTube. Press OK. And there's my video. And my video is now in the discussion I've just created. And I'm just going to increase the size of that font to 12 point. And you'll see here, I'm asking a question. So let's make that a little bit obvious. I'm asking a question. What do you use Facebook? Would you like to be part of helping train, grow and develop 10,000 African leaders this year? Have you already been part of it? Share some of your comments. So you'll see how I'm asking for involvement. And here's where I'm going to enter the tags. So I'm going to enter the text which I can copy from here. Oops, we spelled something wrong there. And I'll go down there and I'll enter that as tags, growing African Christian leaders. I'm just going to add the discussion. Now my discussion is live. And it's got a video in it, which is playing directly from YouTube. So I'm super excited to be here. That's the video. I'll stop that. And then I want to share my video with people using um, sending it to my friends. So I can either send it by email and write in an email address, or I can choose from my friends on the network. So um, let me find somebody who's near the top of my list because it's pretty heavy. Alexander Bunda. Okay, Dr. Alexander Bunda's in Lusaka, Zambia. We've met with him, preached at his Bible college. There. So I'm just going to send this to one person. So you could you could send this to a whole bunch of people or just one, etc. So there's my little message. Hi, Alex. I hope you like my new discussion. Let me know what you think. It's going to Alex Bunda. Share this page. My message has been sent. So Alex has now got a notification to have a look at my new forum. And that's it there. So that's, that's the um, forum done. Created the tags. I'll just come back to you lot and see if there is anybody that has any questions about what we've done so far. And we're going to do item number five, which is have loaded at least one video with a title, description and tags. So I have a video here that I want to load. So I'm going to show you how we do a video. So my videos, see these are the videos that I have loaded up on here, you can have a look at them. I want to add a new video. So I'm going to add a video here. And that just says add a video. I've got to paste 
in the link or the embed code. So that is the link there I've just copied from another document. And I'm going to see if that will load it. That's just the URL link, not the uh, embed code that I showed you a moment ago. Let's see if it likes that. There you go. So that's come straight in from YouTube. It's got the video and <clears throat> it's time to move ahead with our desires and goals to do more, to be more, to affect more and to create bigger impact for God's kingdom across Africa. Will you accept? And let's cut out a bit of wording, accept the challenge. And put some tags, which is growing African Christian leaders. Let's also go with leadership and challenge. So there are my tags, you can put more in. And then I'm going to save that. So that is a new video that's been loaded. There's the, con the description. You saw me put the tags in. I can now go to my videos and see that that has just been added to my list of videos. And it will play there right in that list. from Beautiful Feet Task Force. I want to welcome you to Growing African Christian Leader. I'm going to stop that. We're going to go to the main page. And you're going to see the latest activity. Howard and Joy Sands just posted a video. There's the headline. There's the description. And we come right down to the videos, the videos, not there, up, up here. So the videos, there it is, Growing African Christian Leaders, the launching the 10 day challenge. So that's <clears throat> in there and you can click that and it will take you to that same place where you can play the video. So that's a video uh, created, launched, uh, description tags and now I can share this video like I showed you before just click the share button go back to there the certified fellow list we've loaded at least one video with title description and tags so we've done that number six is to Create at least one event with a title, full description with photo, working website, link, event, image, and invite at least 20 people. So I'm going to show you this event that, that got you all in in the first place, the event called Pulpit Rock Training that is here. And this is an event. You'll see upcoming events, past events, my events, free training on how to best use Africa Network. And this is where you register. There's uh, Johan and a few other people there that have registered for this training. So this is an event. You'll see at the top, it's got the time, the location, a website or a map, uh, the type of event organized by and when was the latest activity so we want to create an event let me just go to show you if i edit this you would just click add and you would add one but i'm just going to show you what's in behind here so this is how you would create that event you would put a, a name of the event then you would put an image and you would choose that from your computer so you just check 
choose the file, find the file on your computer or your phone and upload it, press done, and it will come into there. That will be the main, main image for your event. And then in the body of the text here, you'll see how we've got different size fonts. Um, and we've got an image, so you can put this image in by going to the image, just click that, and again, you will choose from a URL or choose from your computer, choose the file, and you put in whether you want any padding around it, how wide you want it, click OK, whether you want it left, centre, right, full, etc. Click OK, and it comes in. Put the rest of your text. When you're doing an event, please put plenty of information. Uh, I see lots of people create events and uh, they hardly put any information and then they tell me nobody came to their event. So you've got to put plenty of information to get people interested. And what type of event is it? All this is the information that goes on the top of the page when the page is created. And in Africa, um, really you need to put good descriptions of your location because lots of places have um, behind the tea shop or uh, down the road from the Catholic church or uh, descriptions like that because there's no street numbers I understand that you've got to give it good description but here is a good place for you to put the google map link if you can create that so you can do that from from here you can go to the google map find your place get the link from the url and put it in there and phone number if you want who's organizing it and you click save and then you've created an event but you won't get people to your event unless you ask them to come so we've got 83 people that have shown up here of course, there's a lot more than that have actually registered on this. They followed the information which said register here. And that button there, register here, takes you to the place where you register for this training. And you've all done that because you're actually on the training and you filled in that page. So you've got your information and then there's comments. Well, you can comment and others can comment. And you may have seen this uh, comment in here today that I put in um, about this training for today. And others put comments in here. You'll see quite a few different people have put comments in here. There's three pages of comments. And just if you create one, you'll get a notification on your email that somebody has commented on your event. Now let's have a look at upcoming events. Now the upcoming events are this one which we're doing now and there's one here called Diaspora Missionaries Training. Oh I see somebody's recognized that. Oscar. All right Oscar. I'm not picking on you, I'm helping you, all right? There's no picture. We've got the date, but it's only two days away and nobody's been invited, all right? So nobody's going to come if they're not invited. And there's very little information in here. When, um, when I was in sales, they used to have a little saying, sell the sizzle, not the sausage. So you've got to make people want what you have. So people want what you have by you telling them what benefit it's going to be to them. You're going, you're going to write in this de event description what they're going to get out of it. At this training, we're going to teach you how to something, 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 right? And you'll put that in there so that they go, oh, I would like to know that. Put in the picture, you can even put in uh, a video from a previous event so people get a good idea about it. And then you can invite people. Now, I didn't create this event, so I don't have an invite button here. 
you on your event will have an invite button here. And if you click the invite button, then you can send it to your friends. Let me see what I can do. I can share it to my friends. Now I have a lot of friends and I'm not going to actually send it to everybody because they're all over the world and all over Africa. But if you've got a smaller number of friends, you'll recognize where they are. And then you'll just select the ones that you want to come, write a little message and press share this page. And that will, that will go to them. You also have an option here called more options. And you can you can share this with a, a bigger message in here or you can select as it has now done selected all my friends see they've all got a, bl a blue tick mark next to them so you've selected it and send it to everybody but it's good to be careful and selective about who you send things to i turn them off by pressing that none but I can also share it with people on email. So depending on which email you use, that's Gmail or Yahoo. Um, and I think that's, uh, that's that one, Microsoft Outlook. So you can choose people and send it directly by email to the people that you want to send it to. They may not be members on the network. And what that will do is it will bring them to the network They'll need to become a member to see your invite um, and then they can come and decide whether they want to come to your event. So that's uh, done the events, uh, put in the images, put in the details and then send the invites. So I'm just coming back to the main page. Be a, number seven is be a member of uh, at least one group in addition to the national unity groups. So we've talked a bit about the national unity groups, but I want to show you that there are a lot of other groups on this network that people have created. And you just click the groups button and there you will see. The, so the, the, the featured groups are the national groups, the prayer team and the youth group. And then this is a list of all of the groups. So I'm going to show you, you read through these, you can have a look at them. You'll see how many members they've got, how long they've been going, when they were last active. I'm going to go to, um, go on to the next page. Here's one called Men As God Intended. Let me join that. So. I'm going to go to this group and click the headline. It's created by Onesimus. He's got lots of information in here, his objectives, he's got a picture, he's got a discussion happening, there's some comments. So I'm gonna say, all right, I want to join this group. It's really easy. There's a button called join men as God intended. Just click that button. And it now says, welcome to Men As God Intended. You are now a member of that group, Men As God Intended. And there is my picture now coming on the members list. And that's it. Uh, and so I can actually send you an invite to this group in the same invite procedure as we had with the, with the blogs, with the forums and with the videos. Let me go on and then just show you something about what you can do with these groups. So you can create the group that you want. So you can join a group, but you can create a group. As you see, there's plenty of groups created by members. So we'll just go back to the groups page and there's a button add. So you will just add a page. Now, why would you want a group? Well, you don't really want a group to do nothing. You want it to do something. So you've got to have a purpose for it and understand your purpose 
and then you're going to have to manage it and keep contact and put things in it and invite people to it etc but it's a simple form to fill out just the same as the other uh, in event form just put in the name upload an image create a description that will fill out automatically once you put a name in here see that i'm typing at the top but it's coming in at the group address so you don't need to worry about giving it an address put in a website if there's an another website that you want people to go to for more information the location the language and you'll click the add group and then you've added a group now if uh, if you have a a network of people that are working with you and they're in ministry and you want them to be on this network you can create your own group it can be a closed group or it can be an open group you can have a group for teaching or you can have a, a closed group for your denomination or your ministry and invite your your members that might be in different locations to come and join it and you can have private discussion on there if you choose to make it private so that's the unity groups uh, sorry that's the general groups and there's there's a lot of them as you can see we have seven pages of general groups and that's invite at least 20 people by email right so this is this is to invite people to join the network altogether so the invite button here is how you can send an invitation to people to join by email so you can go and let me say i'll choose from gmail import my gmail address book and it's brought in my email address book so there's all sorts of addresses in there you don't want to send an invite to everybody um, but for instance i might uh, send one to um, somebody that's appropriate um acm missions africa all right so i'm going to send an invite to this address this person there's the invite right at the bottom so you've got to go down a long way um <clears throat> invite write a message i i thought you might like to join this Howard they'll know me press send gone your invitation has been sent see there so I've now sent an invite to somebody to come and join the network so if you want to invite people that are in your your connections you want to invite them to join the network so that you can set up a private group for just them um, and they can access everything on the group but but you can keep your own discussions private then you can do that that way create your group and send them an invitation to join the network and then get them into the group and you can have your own you can have your own ministry discussions in there so that's uh, done those. So just want to point out to you um, the African Network Ministry Training School. Once you've done these things that we've got on this list that we've just gone through, you're entitled to run an African Network Ministry Training School. Come down the, the right hand side bar is Africa Network Ministry Training School. You click that link and you say, yes, I'm interested. These are the people that are interested. 
general information, specific information, what you need to know. And then there's a link here to register. So this school in brief is about you teaching your leaders so that they can teach your people in your congregations or ministry so that all of your uh, members, your congregation are fully equipped to be able to lead new people to Christ and establish them firm in the foundations of the Christian faith. So what's involved in setting up an African Network Ministry Training School? There's been a few updates put in here. Um, the requirements, the costs, how you do that, how you raise that money. Um, you are a facilitator. You get videos of the teaching. You get videos of the answers to the questions and you have discussions with your class and you show it on a, a laptop or a TV or a large screen or whatever facility you have got. So the video um, lessons, these are the 10 video lessons coming to Christ, the word of God and prayer, victory, our position in Christ, fellowship and water baptism, the Holy Spirit, sharing your faith, healing and the laying on of hands, a new lifestyle and the church. Uh, a little bit of a, a forward here from uh, our good friend, uh, Dr. Charles Finney Joseph, uh, the Maranatha ministry in India. And there's a little video about the training, which you can watch, it's only two minutes. And then there's some details on how to register your school, register your and order your books etc. We've also got in here a way in which you can order your books cheaper so you can get them down to $6.50 a book um, if you order quantity and you can actually set up a school and you can then run schools and each of those people can teach in your school once they've finished doing the course. So there's that I just heartily recommend that to you we need you to be equipped and trained so you can work with all these systems that are on the network and that'll be wonderful if you get qualified and ready for that and the other thing that i want to show you is uh i'm going to go to facebook because so we've got up to, to 825 members now we've been going a couple of months that's what the header looks like and uh that's a picture of me in in blantyre malawi and uh, just reading the about section is, is important because you won't be able to see all the announcements. It's a, it's a private group, but you can read all the about section, understand what it's all about. We've got a, um, a 10 day challenge in there for taking your ministry to the next level. And we're bringing on a, uh, a private mentor program in there and uh, We've got lots of stuff that's coming up. Uh, Johan, could I ask you to just close our session of training with a word of prayer, please? Lord Jesus Christ, we come to you and we thank you for the special training and thank you for all the resources. And come and bless my brother and the and all the people when attend it. And come and bless this ministry in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.